OCN Word of God to the World Apostle Dr. Brooke Crawford invites you to their Bible study free conference. Call every Saturday from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. You can call 701-802-5485. It's access code 629-5500-POUND. Her ministry, the International Intercessory Covenant Prayer Ministry, prays for salvation, healing, and deliverance. Her book titled, The Church That Makes the Difference, will bless your hearts. Order your copy today, 323-717-0444. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our Father, he, he is faithful. Jesus is faithful. Hallelujah. Welcome to the Authentic Word, God's program. Hallelujah. He is so good. He is so faithful. He's faithful in, in his word. He's faithful in keeping us, protecting us, preserving us. He's faithful in providing for us. He's Jehovah Jireh. He's everything we need. He's so wonderful. And I just want to bless him on today. And I want you to bless him with me. Glory to God. Glory to God. And welcome, welcome to the authentic word. And we're going to get into the word. And he is the word. He is what we need. He is the bread of life. Hey, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. So awesome. So awesome. All right. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just come before you ready to hear your word being expound and being delivered to us and to uplift us, to encourage us, to cause us to want to walk with you, to be with you, to, to be faithful in our relationship with you, Lord. And I just thank you for this privilege and this opportunity to minister to people all around the world because we all need you. The whole world needs you now more than ever before. And you are coming back soon, Lord, and we want to be ready. And so I receive this word and we administer it to people around this world, Lord God, and have your way, have your way, all you. Hallelujah, and none of me. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Yeshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah, glory to God. You know, I was saying how Jesus is the word. Jesus is the bread of life. And so without his word, we need his word every day. We need that word of God operating in us, flowing through us and out of us. Because through his word is the love of Jesus Christ flowing in and flowing out through his word is the, the instruction. It's our guidebook. It's our instruction book. It's our, 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 our teaching tool that every Christian needs, the word of God, the authentic word of God, which is the Holy Bible. The Holy Bible is the authentic word. Praise you, Jesus. And I'm just excited for you what God has for you today. <laughs> glory, 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 glory. Yeah, yeah, hallelujah. So now let's get into this word right now. And we're going to turn to John, the book of John, the gospel of John. And John is the one, the apostle who talks the most about the love of Jesus and what that does, the power of Jesus' love, the power of Jesus' teachings that he taught the disciples. And you, you born again, you are a disciple of Jesus. And so he wants to show you the way in which you should go. 
He has an amazing purpose and destiny for your life. Hey, yeah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So in John, the book of John chapter 6, we're going to go to John chapter 6. John chapter 6 is a uh, loaded chapter. I mean, it is loaded. <laughs> praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we're going to start in verse 9 of John chapter 6. And let's just look at that. Uh, well, well, let's see. No, it's not. Well, let's see. John, hold on here. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. We're going to start in verse verse 32 of John chapter 6. Verse 32 of John chapter 6. And it says, Then Jesus said unto them. Now, once again here, he is talking to his disciples. He says, This is important. Verily, verily, I say unto you. This is pay attention. Pay attention. That's what that means. And so he says, I say this unto you. Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my father give you the true bread from heaven. So now he's ministering to them. They're asking him questions about, you know, what is the kingdom of God? How do you get into the kingdom of God? And so, you know, in the few verses up there further, and it says, what shall we do in order to do the works of God? And so in verse 29, Jesus answered and said, this is the work of God that you believe on him who he has sent. God the Father, who God the Father sent? God the Father sent Jesus. Hallelujah. He says, and so the work of God is to believe. Work, the work is believing, believing Jesus, believing the word of God, which is Jesus, be, trusting in that word, believing in that word, standing on that word, wait, seeing the manifestation of that word come to pass. Hallelujah. And so, and I'm going to skip down uh, the rest of what he said, because we're going to go back to verse 32. And he says, look, he said, so the bread that you received uh, through Moses when the Israelites were in the wilderness and God fed them. That was millions of people. That was not a few hundred people. That was not, that was generations of these people that had been in slavery in Egypt for several centuries. And so they had been praying to God for them to be free. But the bread that they ate when they got in the wilderness, that God rained down from heaven, he fed them from heaven, he did many miracles for them. He took care of them completely. See, when God calls you, when God sets you up for what he wants to do in your life, he's going to provide everything you need. Every provision will be coming forth. And so he will make sure that you have what you need to do what he say. Hey, yeah, hallelujah. And so he is that bread that he was talking about that came down from heaven. And so, but he's saying here to them, but my father gave you the true bread from heaven. And so that bread that they ate, that Moses gave them, was not the bread he said from heaven, but the bread from heaven is him. He is that bread from heaven. Hallelujah. And so he says here, look at verse 33, for the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven and give light, life unto the world. Don't you know this world would have no life on it if it wasn't for Jesus? We would not be alive if it wasn't for the life and the light of Jesus. Jesus is the light. Jesus is life. His blood was the life-giving blood. That's why he shedded it so that we could have new life, so we could have eternal life, so we could have all life back. Hey, yeah, hallelujah. Because we die because we don't have eternal life living in us. So if you don't have that eternal life living in you today, you need to receive that eternal life, which is the life of Jesus, which is the Holy Spirit. 
And so when he says, when you believe me, when you believe on me, when you believe in me, then I will give you my life. Because he paid to give it away to you. He paid for it. He, that's why he shed his blood. And he paid for it so that you might have life and have it more abundantly. And so Jesus is that bread. And so he said unto them, Lord, they said unto him, evermore give us this bread. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. Hallelujah. Oh, my Lord God, that is awesome. Jesus is the bread of life. Your main staple for most your meals, you know, people like bread. It's all different types of breads, you know. We make all kinds of bread, right? But the spiritual bread that never runs out, that never is stale, always fresh, always new, and you need fresh new bread. Fresh new bread every day. Every day we need fresh new bread. The bread that we had yesterday, that's stale. That, that will not do for today. Today is fresh new bread coming to you. Fresh word, a fresh anointed word that is perfectly designed and suited for you for today. Hallelujah. Daily bread. And one of the prayers that Jesus taught his disciples, he talks about that. Receiving, receiving your daily bread. Wow. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The daily bread, Jesus, is that bread that you need to eat every day, fresh and new. A new anointing, a new fresh anointing every day. Yesterday's anointing won't do. Tomorrow's won't do because tomorrow never comes. <laughs> Praise you, Jesus, because you're in eternity. You live in eternity. So eternity is now. So the bread you need now is coming to you right now. And so he said, he that cometh to me shall never hunger. Don't you know you'll never be hungry when you eat the bread, which is Jesus? When you eat his word, he is the word. That word is the bread of life. Hallelujah. This book, this word, what Jesus is teaching his disciples, it's life-giving. It's encouraging. It's strength. It's peace, it's healing, it's deliverance, it's joy, it's his goodness, it's his mercy, it's his grace, it's his favor. Oh, hallelujah. He is that bread. He said, you'll never be hungry when you get into my word and eat that every day. Eat the bread every day. And he said, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. You'll never be hungry. You'll never be thirsty. Don't you know that the only thing that can fill that void, that hole, no matter what you accomplish on this earth, there's only one thing that can fill it, and that's the Word of God. That is Jesus inside of you. Jesus living, the living Christ, the living, the anointed one. And so he says, you'll never be hungry, you'll never be thirsty, but I say unto you and that you also have seen me and believe not. See, he's telling them. He's right there with them, and they still don't believe. So he said, it's he who believeth, who the Father have sent. That's the one that's really doing the work of God. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that interesting? You know, people and ministries and a whole lot of activities going on, you know, concerning um, meetings and goals and purposes and all of that, you know, all of that's good and we have to have that. That's part of what the body of Christ does. But if you're not in that word, if you're not meditating on the word of God, if you're not feeding your spirit, with that bread of life, with Jesus, you're still going to be empty. 
You're still going to be hungry. You're still going to be thirsty. Why? Because there's only one thing that can fill it, and that's a relationship with him. Him and him only. Because when you have a relationship with Jesus, you have one also with the Father in heaven, the one who sent him here on the earth to be our example, for him to pay the price so that we could get everything back because we are sons and daughters of God. Hey, yeah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So you get born again in order to receive this bread of life. Wow. Why do you need that? Because if you want to live for all eternity, that's the only way it can happen. You have to go through Jesus. You cannot get to the Father, and you cannot have the Holy Spirit without Jesus. Because in Jesus, he is God. In Jesus is everything you need. Everything. The whole Bible is about him. About the word. Hallelujah. And so he says here, so you still don't believe, even though you see me. You're sitting right here and I'm talking to you right now. And he said, you're still not believing. I am your God. He said, I am your teacher. I am your help. I'm your healer. I'm your deliverer. I, I made the way for you to get that job. I provided that house. I provided that food. I provided you with help. When you called on my name, I helped you. Hey, yeah. And so God says, look. He says, all that the Father have given me shall come to me, and him that come to me I will in no wise cast out. That's verse 37. He said, that's the Father that does that that brings those to Jesus. And so, Father God, we ask you to bring many to Jesus right now. Hallelujah. Draw them to Jesus. Cause them to come to him, their savior, their deliverer, their way maker. The one who washes away all their sins, all our iniquities. The one who cleanses us and gives us a start to our new life. Thank you, Father, for those you're drawing right now to your first begotten Son of God. Hallelujah. Because now they are also your sons and daughters of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And so God says here, For I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but to do the will of him that sent me. So this is what it's all about. Doing the will of God, the Father. The Father and the Word has purpose and has a will for us. And so the only way we need to find out what is that individual call, that individual will, that individual purpose for you being born into the earth is to do the will of the Father. Hallelujah. How do you do it? You do it through his son, Jesus, the one who came, who paid the price for us hey, and made it all happen. He made it all possible. He made it all happen because the father sent him to do the work. So our work is to believe. Our work is to receive. And once we believing, we really, really have to believe it now. Now, no, just say you believe it, but you don't really deep in your heart. See, God is going to show you what's really in your heart. And so that's why we pray in his name. Why? Because he paid the price. He made it possible so that you could be in the will of the Father, so that you could have a relationship with the Father also. So you get everything when you get Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah. You got everything. You got everything when you got Jesus. When you have Jesus living on the inside of you, the bread of life. He said, I am that bread of life. And this is the, the Father's will, which has sent me, 
that of all which he've given me, I should lose nothing. Don't you know Jesus is not going to cause you to lose nothing? And he's talking about you and I. He will never lose us. It's not about you and your material stuff or whatever you got. You won't lose that. That's not what he's talking about. He's talking about those that the Father sent to him, those that the Father gave him, they will never be lost. They will never stray away from him. They will remain with him. They will stay faithful to him. He said, I won't lose not a one, Father, that you've given me. Wow. Don't you know when you really surrender to Jesus and the Father's will that you will never be lost. He will always be with you. And But you should raise it up again at the last day. So he said, all of those which he has given me, I should not lose nothing. But he's going to raise us up at the last day. And so we're still here. So those of us who, who are, are, are still walking with the Lord, because he's coming back, and he's coming back soon. I have to warn you, Jesus is returning back to this earth to come to get those that are his, those that the Father gave him. And some of our brothers and sisters have already gone to be with him. He came and got them early. That's why you always need to stay ready at all times. That's why you need to eat the bread every day so you will be in line with the destiny and the purpose and the will that the Father has for your life through Jesus. And the only way you can receive it, the only way you can walk in that is through him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And this is the will of him that sent me. Look at verse 40. This is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which sees the Son and believeth on him, come on now, come on now, may have everlasting life. That's the only way. Through Jesus, you will have everlasting life. And I will raise him up at the last day. Wow. And see, the Jews, they started murmuring among themselves because they were saying that he said that he's, I am the bread which came down from heaven. So now they're getting all upset and all disgruntled and complaining about Jesus because Jesus was a revolutionary. Jesus spoke stuff that they didn't like. And it was not what was taught in the synagogue. Oh, that the Messiah is going to come. The Messiah, is, he's not the Messiah. He's blaspheming, saying that he's the bread that came down from heaven. Oh, my, 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 my. So we're going to skip through all of that. And so here again, he said, he that believeth on me have everlasting life, and I am that bread of life. Now that's verse 47 and verse 48. Verse 47 and verse 48. Jesus is that bread of life. Jesus is the bread that you need to eat every day. And so we're going to have a part two on that. So God bless you. And I know you received that word from the Holy Spirit upon today. And I am Apostle Dr. Brooke Crawford. And God bless you. I'll see you again on the authentic word. Shalom, shalom.